We'll continue our video lecture of the skeletal system, picking up with slide number 10, looking at bone cells. We have several different types of cells that exist within bone tissue, and they have different functions. The first cell we see here is a stem cell, and stem cells are found um, on the layer, outer um, periosteum of bone, and as bone is forming, these stem cells will differentiate into uh, osteoblasts, and osteoblasts are what actively build bone. So we can see there these large uh, cells with the ability to take the information, the material, the calcium coming into the bone tissue through the blood and binding that calcium in an acidic environment within the newly formed bone tissue to form bone. Also, these cells, these osteoblasts, secrete collagen as well as these calcium binding proteins to build bone matrix. So when you think of osteoblasts, think of them as the cells that actually build the bone matrix. So they bind the calcium and secrete collagen and the calcium binding proteins and proteoglycans that help to harden the bone and make compact bone the strong tissue that it is. Then as the osteoblasts are completely surrounded by bone matrix and it hardens, those cells become osteocytes. So we can see osteocytes are a little smaller, but as that bone, like I said, tissue hardens, these plasma membrane extensions will form called canaliculi. So these are cell processes that we see only on osteocytes, and that allows those cells to communicate with one another through the canaliculi. So wastes can be secreted, nutrients can be taken in from cell to cell through these connections called canaliculi. This also creates grooves within the bone matrix as it hardens around them, and we'll see that when we look at the models in lab how these canaliculi form tiny little canals in the bone matrix. So those are osteocytes and their job once bone is formed is simply to maintain and monitor the bone tissue and these will send signals if there is extra stress or weakness in a bone and that will affect the bone's um, ability to rebuild or break down the bone. So the osteocytes can send information to osteoblasts or osteoclasts to break down or build bone depending on what the needs of the bone are. So lastly, our last type of bone is the osteoclast. The osteoclasts break down bone, so we can see these are very large cells with multiple nuclei. They create enzymes. This, these cells secrete enzymes to help break down bone. When we say, for example, are um, repairing bone, there is some remodeling that takes place and bone must be broken down by osteoclast and then it's built back up by osteoblast. So this osteoclast is a multinuclei large cell with these many extensions here um, on the, it's called a ruffled border, and that just increases the surface area for these enzymes to be in contact with the bone matrix to allow it to break down that bone. So think of class as cleaving bone or breaking it down. Osteocytes maintain and monitor the bone and osteoblasts build the bone. So osteocytes are mature osteoblasts, and osteoclasts come from a different type of stem cell, which is where macrophages and some of the immune system cells differentiate from. So that's found in the bone marrow. So it's a little different um, developmental process to get osteoclasts, but we're not gonna focus on that content. We're mostly um, interested in the function of these cells. So osteoblasts, osteocytes, osteoclasts, what their function is in bone is what you need to be responsible for. So if we look at this bone tissue here, we can see that there's bone here that's being formed, shown in pink. It's just a newly formed bone. It's called a spicule. So this is maybe woven bone that's early in its development. And on the surface of that bone is an osteoblast that's actively secreting the bone matrix, binding it with calcium to form this bone and as that matrix hardens and completely surrounds that osteoblast, it then becomes an osteocyte. So here's an osteocyte trapped in this cavity called a lacuna. So the space around a, an osteocyte is called a cavity, um, or is a cavity called a lacuna. And the osteoblast is secreting bone on the surface. 
Here we can see a large osteoclast. You can see the multiple nuclei of that osteoclast. So a very, very large cell. Here's the matrix that it's actively breaking down. So we can see the enzymes would be acting in this area, breaking down the bone matrix. So this is an osteoclast, very large cell, multiple nuclei. Again, osteoblasts we can see here on the surface of this bone. Here we can see the osteocytes in the lacuna. So these white spaces are the cavities of uh, around each osteocyte. And then here we can see really nicely the canaliculi, the extensions from the osteocytes that help them to communicate with one another. And in this tissue slide we can see that as well. You can kind of see those hazy lines. Those are the canaliculi and the dark spots here in each ring of compact bone tissue are osteocytes in lacuna. So the dark space is the lacuna and filling that space inside of it is an osteocyte with these fibery, kind of thin, spidery extensions, which we call canaliculi. So be sure you're able to label that for lab as well, because those are important microscopic structures discussed in lab.